Hey, Disciples of Jesus, this is Tyler with No Place Left in Alabama, and welcome back to this series on the brutal facts of lostness in the state of Alabama. So if you're new to the series, what we're doing in this series of videos is really looking at each of the different counties in the state of Alabama. Alabama is seen by most everyone to be kind of a part of the Bible Belt, right? Everybody's a believer, everybody goes to church, and so everybody is a Christian, but we're examining that and asking is that really the case in the state of Alabama or do we see some trends changing showing that maybe uh, that is is not necessarily the case that in other words there's a lot of people that are far from God in the state of Alabama and need uh, someone to share the good news with them and disciple them and show them what it looks like to really follow Jesus and so today we are looking at Morgan County and Morgan County is up in the northern part of the state and per the census data that I have access to the population there is around 119,000 people and um, we always note this when we're talking about lostness and trying to determine lostness it's hard to do with actually out like getting out there and talking to people but obviously you can't necessarily go out and talk to 119,000 uh, people in a week to get ready to make this video so at least I can't do that and uh, so, but we can look at some other data points to kind of see what the trend is. And so in Morgan County, there's somewhere around 36,000 uh, people that are considered unclaimed. Now, we use this stat and it's kind of misleading a little bit because I say nuns and really it's not technically nuns, it's unclaimed. But what this number means is that these people, this number of people are not connected to any kind of identified religious group in the county. So the way they come up with this number is they take the population of the county and they take all of the all of the people that submit their information to the Association of Religion Data Archives, right? Uh, the you know all those numbers from different religious organizations submit their numbers and so they subtract that number from the overall population which gives them the number of people in a county that are unclaimed. So these are people that are not going to, to any kind of religious, organized religious gathering, Christian or otherwise, in the county. So, um, and that's somewhere around 30% of the overall population of Morgan County. So the next data point we look at is numbers from the Southern Baptist uh, family of churches, just to kind of give us an idea of the trend. And Morgan County is a part of the Morgan Baptist Association. And in the last five years, there has been a 45% decline in baptisms in that association over the last last five years when it comes to worship attendance there's been a 38 percent decline in uh, worship attendance and so of course yeah covid we hear that sometimes well that's just because of covid in many cases yes covid did obviously accelerate the decline but the decline was already happening pre-covid it was kind of like to use an illustration the fire was already burning and COVID was like somebody threw gasoline on the fire, right? And it rapidly accelerated uh, the rate that fire was burning. So anyway, uh, we still see in almost every county that we look at decline, decline, decline on these two basic metrics and also pretty significant number of the population that is unclaimed, not really in connected to any kind of uh, religious organization at all. So. We asked two questions, does this concern you? Do these trends concern you? And then secondly, what's it going to take to see these things change in the state of Alabama? And so we believe it's going to take, it's going to take training. Uh, so if you're in Morgan County and you want to be trained, then reach out to us, leave a comment. We'd love to come and, and help organize a training in your area on disciple making and evangelism. Uh, but we also believe it's going to take desperate prayer. So every week, uh, myself and some other disciples of Jesus who are part of the Pray For Alabama movement uh, get together on Zoom and we pray for different counties every week. And so if you'd like to join us this week to pray for Morgan County in particular, then we'd love to have you on Wednesday. Join us uh, on Zoom to pray for Morgan County. Just head over to the Pray For Alabama website and you can get more information there about how to connect to that prayer call and sign up for the email newsletter. So um, that's it for this this week. So until next time, keep sharing and keep making disciples until there's no place left.